What we're broadly trying to understand with this is how organs are built with the right shape, size and, and function to do their job properly. How those cells sculpt out this beautifully engineered structure in the embryo and do so over and over again, that's it's kind of wide open as a question, we don't know. We study organ development in zebrafish because their development's very similar to us, but they're small and very transparent, and that means that we can easily put them under the microscope and study all of these processes in real time. These are now five days old. They actively swim around, they have a jaw, they're looking for food, um, and at this point they also have quite a big heart that's beating hard. It's a little dish that we can fill up with, with mix that they're going to enjoy and fall asleep in when we put them on the microscope, that's all. And then we can recover them after that. Um, so it's not harming them, it's just keeping them still while we do our imaging. And this allows us to prepare them for imaging on bigger microscopes. Right, here we are. This is the spinning disc uh, confocal microscope. It sweeps the low points across your image at the same time. That means it will get very, very fast imaging, very really fast movies. And take one of these dishes here, has a line of fish on it, sit the dish down. And then with this joystick, I can move it into the right position. Because the heart's beating so fast, we can't take a, a full 3D image in an instant or fast enough to actually have a three-dimensional movie over time. So what we do instead is we acquire a, a slice movie like this for every slice through the heart separated by a micrometer or so. And that's gonna represent 50, 60, 70 different beats. And then using some clever AI or computer program, we can um, assemble all of that data and register that in time such that it looks like a, a single beating heart. And that allows us to get an average representation of where all the cells are, how they're moving around and how that's changing over time. We can see structures that people have never seen in processes generating the form and function of the heart that have been totally off limits before. So it's, it's a very exciting thing to be doing.